Good evening, brothers. Evening prayer will begin on page 651 this evening as we are continuing in the memorial of St. Marcus. And we will use the contemporary version of the Lord's Prayer. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. O oh Christ, door of the sheepfold, may we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor, the lost, and the wandering this day and all our days. Amen. Amen. From all thy saints, saints in warfare, for all thy saints at rest, to thee, O blessed Jesus, all praises be addressed. Thou, Lord, didst win the battle, that I may my conquerors be. Their crowns of living glory are lit with rays from thee. The sun of consolation, moved by thy law of love, forsaking earthly treasures, sought riches from above. As earth now teems with an increase, let gifts of grace descend, that thy true consolations may through the world extend. We pray for saints we know not, for saints still yet to be, for grace to bear true witness and serve you faithfully. Till all the ransom number who stand before the throne ascribe all power and glory and praise to God alone. Our psalmody is from Psalm 100, and we will read responsibly uh, by whole paragraph. <clears throat> Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. Acknowledge that Yahweh is God. He made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, his unfailing love continues forever, and his faithfulness continues to each generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading comes from the first chapter of Colossians, beginning at verse 4. We have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and your love for all of God's people which come from your confident hope of what God has reserved for you in heaven. You have had this expectation ever since you first heard the truth of the good news. This same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while, you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. God. Behold, the Lord is coming soon. Bringing his reward with him to repay all people according to their deeds. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes. They will be permitted to enter through the gates of the city and eat the fruit from the tree of life. The Lord has sent his angel to us to reveal this testimony for all the churches. He is both the source of David and the heir to his throne. He is the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come. Let anyone who hears this say, Come. Let anyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners and transformed them into your saints. 
Forgive us who have sinned much. Lord Jesus, so many have joined you and your apostles on the journey. Help us to follow your footsteps and theirs. Lord Jesus, we honor those who have served the gospel in word and deed. Help us to serve you with love and devotion. Lord Jesus, you call those who do your will, brother, sister, mother. Help us to follow the example of your holy ones, that we may walk in your will all of our days to the glory of your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. Almighty God, your faithful servant Barnabas sought not glory for himself, but gave generously of his life and substance for the encouragement of the apostles and their ministry. Grant that we may follow his example through lives given to charity and the proclamation of the gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For it is you who will relieve me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, demiss your servants in peace. For your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always. And with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant us a quiet night and, and a peaceful death. death. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen.